Uh, hi everybody. Um, uh, what I will be doing is uh, I will be mostly speaking about the uh, the deficiencies in Prop 209, what it has done to uh, uh, California in specific, as Prop 209 is the California specific policy, and I will also be bringing up some issues with the very first um, uh, point, the affirmative head. I would uh, I would like to start off with a quote from Rosa Parks, uh, one of it, I'm assuming you all know Rosa Parks, a very well-known civil rights activist. When, act, uh, when asked about uh, what Prop 209 is doing to uh, affirmative action policies, she replied with, affirmative action did not reach its goal of equal opportunity for all, and now it is gone. This was after Prop 209 was passed. Now, uh, earlier on, uh, our, the affirmative side mentioned that Prop 209 was, uh, could be considered a part of the civil rights movement, but uh, in a, uh, a policy debate brought to the uh, California Senate, uh, uh, there's this quote, a generation ago, Rosa Parks launched the civil rights movement, which opened the door to equal opportunity for women and minorities in this country. Parks is against this deceptive initiative. Proposition 209 hijacks civil rights language and uses legal lingo to gut protections against discrimination. Now, uh, some aspects of Prop 209 have actually opened up uh, a lot of issues for a lot of people. Prop 209 does not only focus on uh, college admissions or how state-run schools operate. Uh, as we've brought up earlier, uh, it also affects who gets grants, who gets uh, these contracts, who who gets hired for jobs in the uh, in the state, and uh, there was actually it was uh, a 22 percent drop in a, in women's hiring the year after Prop 209 was passed, because Proposition 209 opened up a loophole that allows uh, state-run institutions to not hire women or not hire as many women. Now, uh, they also said that uh, there was the case of a school uh, rejecting someone for uh, not being a part of their quota because they needed X many amount of minorities to uh, meet their quota. So Proposition 209 says it eliminates quotas, but in fact the U.S. Supreme Court already decided twice that they are illegal. Proposition 209's real purpose is to eliminate affirmative action equal opportunity programs for qualified women and minorities, including tutoring, outreach, and mentoring. There is also the issue, as most people may have heard of, the USC scandal, sort of all these other scandals. Now, uh, including UCLA, uh, people paid their way in to get into these schools, and merit is not always the uh, best way to define whether or not someone should get in because merit can be falsified in certain cases. I have a bit more on the outreach programs uh, that were canceled due to Prop 209. Uh, General Colin Powell's position on Proposition 209. Efforts such as the California Civil Rights Initiative, which poses as an equal opportunities initiative, but which puts at risk every outreach program, sets back the gains made by women, and puts the brakes on expanding opportunities for people in need. Uh, if Proposition 209 were to become a nationwide uh, policy, uh, we, would, we would run into significant amount of issues uh, considering uh, 15th Amendment who voting rights, uh, policy, like personal rights. Uh, I have a quote from an opinion letter to the Attorney General in 1995 before the, uh, the policy was passed that said, the measure would eliminate a, a variety of public schools, kindergarten through grade 12, and community college programs such as counseling, tutoring, student financial aid, and financial aid to selected school districts where these programs are targeted based on race, sex, ethnicity, or national origin. Some people need help because uh, maybe their schools get less funding because of, uh, because of the value of their homes. Maybe there are all these different sorts of uh, 
aspects need to take into consideration when uh, talking about these things. Now, uh, earlier on, uh, the opponent mentioned that Proposition 209 would actually increase racial diversity. Uh, we can prove that uh, racial uh, that Proposition 209 has actually decreased racial uh, uh, racial representation. Uh, I have this uh, statistic for uh, for African American students students the situation is once again even bleaker. At Berkeley, they fell from eight percent of first year students in the fall of 1997 to just 4% of first year students in the fall of 1999. The number of African Americans admitted to these schools plunged by 44% from 1,406 to 784. We can see more statistics from Berkeley that in 1997 the acceptance rate for African Americans applying to Berkeley stood at 49.6 and for Latinos it was 45.4. In 1999 at Berkeley, the acceptance rate had fallen to 28.3% for African Americans and to 27.9% for Latinos. And what has actually ended up happening because of Proposition 209 is schools can no longer uh, schools can no longer take the best qualified students if they are reaching for a diversity, or at least state-run schools cannot do this anymore because their met their only method of trying to include diversity is class diversity. And what ends up happening is that uh, underrepresented minorities in schools uh, end up having their spots uh, given away to uh, students who were less academically qualified uh, but came from a poorer neighborhood. Thank you.